What's up guys? Uh, thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, I'm gonna be posting a lot of things disc golf related here, so stay tuned. Now, my first video today, I wanna take some time to explain what is disc golf. I've got a lot of friends who know I play disc golf, but don't really know what it is, or they've asked me questions about it. So I thought I'd give you a little tutorial on what disc golf is, why I like to play it, and why I enjoy it so much. So disc golf is just like normal golf, except you're using uh, frisbees or discs. Now these are different than a normal frisbee because they can all fly a little different based on the shape of their wing, stiffness, and the type of plastic they're made out of. But like in golf, you've got holes that you're trying to make it in okay so in disc golf we've got a basket i don't kind of see it down there and a tee pad every hole has a certain par you're trying to make just like in golf so all the all the pars on this course this is just a nine hole all the pars are, are threes so par threes basically you want to take your disc start at your tee pad and you want to make it in that basket down there in three tries. Uh, so that'd be a part three. If you get over, you're going to bogey. It's going to add a point to your score. Or if you go under par, it's going to take away a point. And like in golf, you want to get your lowest score. So I was going to show you some of the discs that I use. Um, I actually, some of y'all found this out, but I'm actually on Team Prodigy now. They uh, gave me a street team membership so i'm gonna be throwing all prodigy this season okay now there are a variety of discs that you can use these are my putters okay it's a slower disc i've got some approach and mid-range okay so they're not going to be discs that you're really trying to pump out there um, more controlled shots and then you got some fairways Okay, and your distance drivers. All right, so I'm gonna hit this nine hole course up real quick, see how I do, hope we enjoy it. Alright, so here's my uh, drive, that's where my disc landed, here's the baskets, if I make this putt, that'd be two, so that's one down, you're supposed to be able to make it in three on this one. You always need to putt from behind your line, so some people will put a marker right here and take the disc away, or you can just putt behind it, but uh, yeah, let's see what So, you have to ignore my corniness on camera if I get real dumb looking. I'm not used to this, but hopefully quality will come. You know, it's going to take some practice. But we are now on hole two. Again, none of these holes are very long. 240 feet. It is a par three. You see the basket down here. Go through the trees. We're around them. All right, we're gonna go mid-range, down the gut. Try and get it in the circle. Uh, for non-disc golfers, the circle is 30 feet around the basket. Kind of the ideal landing spot. Most people who've been playing for a while should be making putts inside the circle pretty consistently. So, see what we can do. 
Mid range. M3. I'm a proud of you guys. So, a lot of people ask me um, what got me started in disc golf. So I have a buddy who was playing a lot longer than I was. He kind of asked me out to play. Came out with him. Had a great time playing. Gave me something to do whenever I was done teaching. I'm a teacher, so during the summer I get to play this all summer long. A lot of fun it's real relaxing as you can see it's outside outdoors and nature this course is on a church here church property but there's courses all over the place courses that are in the woods courses that are by lakes that are wide open i don't know i think to find mental happiness you need to be outside some and uh this gets me outside clears my mind so enjoy it All right, buzz the tower, almost. Go clean it up. Get the camera. There we go, two holes done. Got a two on that one, three on this one, so that put me one down on the course right now. Going to hole three. seven here so three more holes see if we can't birdie out this one's kind of cool so it's 231 t-pad and basket now the basket kind of hard to see is an island um, means you got to make it inside the circle it's also elevated on some rocks and yes i live in texas where it is always hot 
I am wearing a long sleeve shirt. It's not because I'm stupid, it's because I'm trying to lose a little extra weight. I've been uh, dieting and working out. I've lost about 30 something pounds now, so every bit of sweat helps as long as you stay hydrated. Sometimes you'll see me when I start doing these video vlogs, if I'm doing courses, throw more than one shot. It's just me trying to get some extra practice. That was a good shot. That was a little pass, but hey, take it. Street team, let's go Prodigy. Let's see if I can't do this bag on my back. There we go, Get the camera. All right, hole eight. My favorite hole in this course. Shout out City Disc Park. It's in Fort Worth. Again, this property is a church property. And guys at the church decided to turn it into a course. I think they want to get some foot traffic around their church. <laughs> On Sundays, they play their uh, their uh, worship service and and. Uh, other service on speakers, loudspeakers, but yeah, this uh, hole eight, 246, my favorite hole on this course, just cause you gotta hit this gap here. All right, nice alleyway down to the basket. It's not a pump by any means, but you do have to be uh, on target. For you non-prodigy throwers is awesome. If you're trying to get rid of, uh, or not get rid of, but trying to replace or find a spot for like a McPro rock, or Rock 3 uh, and deep, uh, well, sorry, D line is this many, but in like DX plastic, man, this thing is awesome. It holds up. Uh, you can beat it up nice to straight. Starts out pretty stable at first, over stable a little bit in this plastic, uh, but it beats in nice and straight. So I have been loving this disc. It's an M3 and 300. Also trying out an M1 and 300, definitely more stable than I was thinking it would be, which is awesome for different shots, but we'll see how this one does. get a two real quick guys like I was saying earlier this M3 300 plastic it's awesome if you're a rock thrower this compares honestly I like the feel of this plastic better it just has a little bit filler uh, a little bit more chalky feel to it than the McPros that I was throwing also I think it's got some really good glide to it so all right, let's hit this uh, two putt real quick. There we go. All right, guys. Well, you can see we got a fortunate kick. I want to say thanks for uh, sticking through this video if you did. 
you didn't, that's okay. Um, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you want to. I'm going to be putting more videos out a month. Uh, you can go follow my Instagram at Trevor Swift. I'm posting a lot more disc golf related stuff. A lot of Prodigy stuff. Uh, I want to say thanks Prodigy for giving me street team membership. I appreciate it. Can't wait to represent Prodigy Discs. Everyone else, uh, if you have any questions about disc golf or you want to come play with me, let me know. If you have any suggestions on what I should be doing with my uh, vlogs, leave a message. All right, let's get this to <laughs> Thank you.